Good evening, y'all, and welcome to Apron Strings. I'm in the midst of making supper, and I've already cooked some smothered cabbage and some pinto beans, and I'm fixing to make a Tex-Mex meatloaf. So I thought, they might want to know about this meatloaf. So I'm going to bring y'all over to the butcher block and let you watch me put it together. It's a keeper, a little bit spicy, tastes a little bit different, but sure is good, makes good sandwiches too. So y'all get on over here to the butcher block and let's get this going. Okay, in my bowl, I've already put about two pounds of ground hamburger, 80-20. And I've got a large onion, diced really small. And I have one and a half cups of crunched up Dorito chips. And this is what I used. I use the spicy nacho. Now you can use plain ones or you can use something that will add more flavor to it. We're going to need one package of taco mix. And I happen to have that right here. We want one can and I've got the little, how many ounces is this? Four ounces of uh, green chilies diced. Put all of that in there. We need two eggs, and I didn't do it yet, but you need to spray your uh, loaf pan with a little bit of uh, kitchen spray. And we're going to need about a half a cup of salsa. Let me see. Actually, it's two-thirds of a cup. And this don't show that, so let's see here. I'm just going to put about two-thirds of a cup in there. How's that? Guesstimated. Okay, I think I've got everything in here except it takes a cup of cheddar cheese. I've got my chilies, my taco mix, egg salsa. Okay, let me put a cup of cheddar cheese. And then we're going to mix it all up and get it baking. I think that's about a cup. So I'll add a little bit more. I'm going to have about my cheese and my garlic and my onion. Now the recipe does not call for garlic and onion powder, but I'm going to add it because I like that flavor and most Mexican food does have a lot of garlic in it. I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half of garlic powder, granulated garlic. And then I want to put about two tablespoons of granulated onion. And I'm going to get my pan out right quick before I get my hands dirty. How's that? I think y'all have seen me cook in this pan before. I actually got it at Goodwill. It's a Wilton pan. And it has a, uh, see the holes in it? It's to cook meatloaf in, and your grease drips through to the bottom. And it's non-stick, but I don't trust it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it real good. Makes it clean better, and I always do the part that drips through too. And what you do, you just mix your meatloaf up and you put it in the top of this, and your grease ends up down in the bottom. If you don't have one of these, take your loaf pan and spray it and put a couple of pieces of bread. It don't matter if it's whole wheat or white bread. Put it in the bottom and put your meatloaf on top of it and that bread will absorb all of the grease and you just peel the bread off and you won't have a, a greasy meatloaf. So let me get it going, get it all mixed up and then I'll get it in the pan. Got all kinds of goodie. Hear that? Hear those chips crunching? Mmm. Be good. 
I always, on my regular meatloaf, I either use oatmeal or cracker crumbs, and I'll usually put a little bit of regular bread in it. And the bread that I put in it, I soak in just enough milk that I can squeeze it in my hands and make a little pasty looking bunch of stuff to put in here. Okay, that's about mixed. I should have broke my meat apart a little bit before I started this, but I didn't. The eggs kind of bind it. Okay. I would think that's pretty good. We got roofers coming tomorrow. We had some damage from wind and whatever. Had some leaks in the house. And so they're coming to put a roof on tomorrow. We called the insurance out. They didn't do what we wanted them to, but every little bit helps. So that's what'll be happening tomorrow. It'll be noisy banging on my roof. in there. I like those holes in the bottom because you don't have to really worry about it throwing grease off in the oven if it gets too much up at the top. Okay, just a minute. Let me dash over to the sink and put this in there and rinse my hands off. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to get this put into a 350 degree oven. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I don't like all that stuff all the way around it. Put it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. And I'll use my probe thermometer to make sure that the internal temperature is done. And then I'll bring y'all back. Now, they say to let it cool a little bit and then dump it out on its head and pour you some salsa over it and put some green onions. But I'm not going to do that because um, I don't know that Troy and the boys would want, both of April's boys will be here, don't know that they would want that. So I can always pour that over my piece. I always put ketchup on it anyhow. I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'll be back when it's done and show y'all. And I might be back before it's done, just to talk a little bit. I got it out, and you can see there's grease around the sides. It's bubbling, but it'll drain on down in the uh, bottom pan. I'm going to let it cool a little bit while I go put the chickens up. And I'll get it plated and show y'all what it looks like and tastes like here in just a little bit. Let's let it cool some. Okay, I've got one plate. And plate it up for y'all to see. We've got charro beans and smothered cabbage, Kraft macaroni and cheese, and Tex-Mex meatloaf. Let me just tell you, that meatloaf is wonderful. Well, Richard just got here, little Richard. And, um, of course, Jordan's been here, and Troy's here, and Gay's here, so we fix to sit down and have us some supper. Y'all need to try this meatloaf recipe. It's not your traditional meatloaf. I always put, I told you, some bread and oatmeal, cream of mushroom soup, eggs, onions, bell pepper, whatever in it. But this one's totally different, and it's very good. You need to let it cool considerably before you take it out of the pan, because one end of mine did crumble because I took it out too quick. But uh, I let it cool some more, and then I could slice it. But it's delicious. And if it had all crumbled, I would just put it on top of the beans and eat it like that. But we do have helping some meatloaf that looks right. Um, I don't know just what else I'm going to come up with this week. I'm going to try to do uh, a few videos ahead for next week. I'm going to have to go up to 
Bryan College Station and, and be with Lauren next week while for college. She's I told y'all she's staying in a camper. We don't want her by herself. So I'm gonna let April come home to be with Richard. He's he's not doing well and she needs to be with him. So if I miss next week, just say a prayer for us and I'll be back just as soon as I can. And right now, I'm going to get over there and sit down with my family and have a good meal and talk and see what I can find out they've been doing and make some memories and plan what I'm going to do next. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. And if I'm not here next week, please go watch some of my old videos to keep my watch time going, but I'm going to do my best to be here. But I'll see y'all just as soon as I can. The Lord bless you.